We've been building furniture for the last 160 years here at St. John's, monks and lay craftsmen. And we've been doing this mostly from wood from our own forest here on campus. Organ building is a new venture for us, but it's an old venture for Benedictines. As since the ninth century, Benedictines have been involved in organ building, and it has really become the sustaining instrument for our life of prayer. It's what guides us every day, morning prayer, mass, evening prayer, Compline. It's another voice of our community. We wanted a woodworking, or needed a woodworking shop update for about the last 60 years. And every manager of the woodworking shop has tried to build a new woodworking shop, but we just never were able to get enough energy behind it to, to actually get it done. Uh, when one of the directors was retiring, he said, you know what, let's give it one more shot. And while that was happening, Martin Pozzi, the organ builder, uh, was here uh, expanding our own organ in the Abbey. And he heard of this idea and he brought it forward and he said, you know what, I hear about your new venture, you want to expand the woodworking shop? Would you ever think of incorporating an organ building studio? And once I heard more from other people in the community and the wider community about what this could be, it really just started to fit hand in glove of this could really work. Uh, there are pipes uh, that will be 32 feet tall, and this is where guests and people will be able to come and see that organ being built uh, in a real tangible way, not just in its pieces, but how it comes together to be a, a musical instrument. So we spent two weeks out in Roy Washington uh, packing up Posse Organ Studios. They've been there for 35 years. And seeing it arrive today uh, on these flatbed trucks and make its way into the space, I don't know, it just felt that this is becoming a reality more than it's ever felt before. And it felt right. <laughs>